Now, there is a property of matrices called unimodularity, and a variant I want to talk about today called total unimodularity. The definition is a bit opaque. A matrix is totally unimodular if every square submatrix has determinant 0, plus 1, or minus 1. It doesn't really help that I don't have a great intuition about determinants, but here's the thing. Let A be a totally unimodular matrix, then the standard linear program with AX less equal B is integral, and all extreme points of the feasible region have integer coordinates. Optimizing a linear objective function will then necessarily give an integral solution, as long as your solver is going to give you an extreme point solution. There's no need to get out the ILP solver if your matrix is totally unimodular. Don't get me wrong, total unimodularity is a pretty restrictive condition. To be perfectly honest, whenever I've checked uh, my ILP coefficients, they never were. But still, if you're doing a kind of simple linear program, maybe check to see if it's totally unimodular. You might have more luck and get a polynomial time algorithm for free. Let's finish up with some uh, examples. The LP for matching is totally unimodular, and so is the LP for network flow. Then there are some conditions with blocks of consecutive ones and minus ones, but I'm not even going to go there. Just look it up if you ever need to.